Elizabeth Manley, and I lost my mother to ovarian cancer. I remember when she first got diagnosed, both my mom and I looked at each other and we went, ovarian cancer, what is ovarian cancer? We had no education about it. We didn't understand what it was about. The entire year that my mom was sick and went through chemotherapy and went through all her treatments, it was a life-changing experience for me. Um, not in a way that I had the cancer, but to see my mom go through this horrible disease and watching day in and day out, having hope, not having hope, having hope, not having hope. And that was the hardest thing, I think, for the year. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, I was in complete denial. I never thought I'd lose my mom. My mom was there through everything for me. I would never have been an Olympic figure skater without my mom. She is the strength behind the medal. But to watch her go through this changed everything I feel about life. I, t I, I appreciate every minute. Um, I, I take the time and I, and I try to, to give back. Um, my work with Ovarian Cancer Canada is, is my way of being close to my mom and it's my way of giving back. It really makes you reevaluate life. And what we can do is not only as an individual but as a country and to try to, to find a cure for this disease, to get out there, raise money for funding, for research, the education. The education was the huge thing for me because when, we got when my mom got the diagnosis, we knew nothing about ovarian cancer. And it was really tough for us to, to find that education when she was stage three. Um, so it's such an, an important part for us to get out there and, and to get people educated on, on what, what ovarian cancer is. We need to shout out. We need to shout out what it's about. Um, I, I wish it on no one. Um, it is the hardest thing for anybody to go through, whether you're a victim of the disease or a family or a family member or a loved one. Um, it's, it's not just the person diagnosed, but it's the entire family. And I will miss my mom forever. But taking the time and reaching out to people and talking to people such I am, so such as what I'm doing right now, is my way of remembering her and honoring her.